Okay, so everybody knows that the Earth revolves around the sun, right? Right? Okay, fine. Well, at least everyone respectable thinks that the Earth revolves around the sun in modern times. The sun is the center of our solar system, has the most mass, and is the largest, so therefore all the planets go around and around and around just like this. But today I wanted to try to make the Earth the center of our solar system and have all the other bodies orbit around it. But what would it look like? Is it even possible? And if it is possible, what would have to change with the celestial bodies in order to make this happen? To make this happen, I'm going to be using Universe Sandbox. Also, if you happen to stumble across my channel, please hit that sub button and leave a like, it's tough out here for a channel my size. Bruh. But first, before we wreck the solar system, a little history lesson. Basically, ever since we started looking up to the stars, human beings have always thought that the Earth was the center of the universe. All the way back in 4th century BC, Plato and his student Aristotle wrote about the geocentric model. They imagined that the Earth was completely stationary and that the Sun, the Moon, and all other planets rotated around us. Contrary to popular belief, they did not think that the Earth was flat. Get out! They did know that it was a spear, but that was only because they had a little thing called math. Now it's very easy to think that these people were stupid somehow, but they did have some solid reasons for thinking this way. But first, I challenge you to go outside, without even so much as a telescope, and try to prove that the Earth is not the center of the universe. I assume it would be a very difficult task, if not near impossible, without our modern understanding of space and science generally. So what was their reasoning? Well, firstly, from a person standing on Earth, the Earth does not appear to move at all. Just walk outside and tell me if you think that the Earth is rotating. You won't think that. Secondly, from anywhere on Earth, it seems as though the Sun and the Moon, and along with all the other stars, are rotating around us once per day. There actually were heliocentric astronomers during the ancient Greek era, but the geocentrists ended up winning out. This idea was also refined by others, such as Ptolemy during the early Christian era, and was the mainstream idea in Europe right up until a couple of heretics named Copernicus and Galileo started spreading some crazy ideas. Both men were shut down by the Pope, and Galileo was even jailed for heresy. But as time passed, religion's hold on Europe slowly waned and heliocentrism was proven again and again, right up until modern times, where heliocentrism is widely accepted by every serious astronomer as the reality of the universe. But screw all that research and all that time spent doing math and whatnot. Let's make the Earth the center of the solar system. So here we are in Universe Simulator. This is the Sun and all of the planets. Pluto's not on here, it's not a real planet. I'm sorry, fellas, but that's just the way it is. But our objective here is to make this and this change places. So all we have to do is go over here to the Earth, pause the game real quick, and replace it with stars, the sun. Beautiful. There it is. And now we just go back to the sun, and we replace this with the Earth. Boom. And now we got the Earth as the center of the solar system. Beautiful. Now we just unpause and watch everything go perfectly fine. Oh. Uh oh. It kind of all fell apart. This isn't a very functional solar system, is it? Let's speed up time, maybe it'll fix itself. Oh, it definitely didn't. Okay, well that obviously doesn't work. So back to the drawing board. Okay, well the reason for that obviously is the sun is way bigger and heavier than the Earth. So, if we replace the sun with the Earth, Okay, but then we just make the Earth the same size and weight as the Sun in one Sun radius. Okay, so now the Earth is just literally the same size as the Sun is, see? So now that we have this, let's go. Everything's just gonna keep orbiting around the Sun, around the Earth, right? Oh. Oh. It seems as though I've created a black hole. Well, is everything still orbiting at least? Uh, oh. Oh. There's nothing left. Is that it? There's nothing left? Okay, well that doesn't work. Let's get another view of that on the normal time scale. I just went a little bit too fast to see what exactly happened there. Oh. Nope. Okay, so the black hole Earth just sucks up all the planets. Okay, well the reason why that didn't work probably was because the Earth is too small to have all the weight of the sun, right? Okay, but this time... I'm going to make the radius 20 suns. So now it's as heavy as it was, but it's bigger. So everything will be fine with this, right? Oh. Oh, it's not. It's just a black hole again. Does everything just make a black hole? Okay, well here's another idea. Instead of making everything bigger, because that just makes black holes apparently, 
Maybe we can make everything else smaller. If everything else was smaller, then they can probably orbit around the Earth just fine, right? That's an idea. Okay, so I went through the painstaking process of making every single body one moon mass. So the Earth can, I mean, the moon can revolve around the, the Earth, so if something is moon mass, it probably can too. This is my thinking. I don't know if it's good thinking, but it is technically thinking. So now, if we hit play, everything should be fine, because everything's smaller, right? Maybe something's working. Uh, no. That wasn't super successful, to be honest, but at least nothing turned into a black hole. <laughs> Let's give it another shot. Okay, well, I've been thinking here. The obvious problem is that everything's just too far away. The Earth's gravity well can't make all this stuff orbit around it because it's just too small. I mean, it's too far away for the Earth's uh, gravity to catch it. So I just need to move everything closer. That's it. Just move this over here. Move Uranus over here. And then move Neptune down here. Just for reference, this is how it would look if, uh, if, if everything was the same current size that it was. Uh, I don't think that's going to work out. I suspect if I hit play right now, something horrible will happen. Let me just crank up the speed a little bit. Uh, yep. Yep, that doesn't look very good. None of this looks very good at all, actually. Yeah, that's not going to work for my model. We have everything kind of in the right location, roughly. We need to change the size of everything to make the orbits work around Earth. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to change everything to be like roughly one moon mass. I think that that's probably fair to start off with, and then I can make things bigger or smaller in relation to how we see them in the sky. Okay, just for fun, I'm gonna press play and see what happens here. I have no illusions that this is gonna work, but um... You know, it wasn't a good result, but I'll say it was a better result. You know, at least one object is orbiting. <laughs> it's better than I've done before. Okay, so I have been cooking up something here. I, I don't know how well it's gonna work, but looking by these orbital markers, it seems as though this may work. I haven't pressed play yet. Um, earlier I forgot to add Mars, but um, Mars is here now. So anyway, let's see how this goes. Um, not super great. I noticed I forgot to make Earth stationary. It's a pretty big component of what we're trying to do here, so fix that. So let's try it now. Similar results, although not quite as terrible. Okay, back to the drawing board once again. Okay, I genuinely want to know how are we feeling about this? Um, maybe like this, perhaps? Okay, let's give that a shot. Oh my god, Jupiter, stay here. Where are you going? Things are looking okay right now. I'm not saying they're perfect, but I'm gonna speed up time and just see kind of how this goes. Uranus's orbit's looking kind of weird. Okay. This is looking kind of all right. You know, let me speed up time a little bit more. Mars and Venus are kind of having a hard time. Oh shit, Jupiter blew up Mars. Oh no, it's all falling apart. <laughs> it kind of worked though. It almost worked. Oh man, I'm so close. Okay, okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. This might even be stable. You gotta speed it up a little bit to know for sure. Yeah? It's kind of working. Okay. Now this kind of works for sure. The moon and the sun are not in this, so I have to add both of them. Okay, so here's the sun in our diagram. Uh, it doesn't work very well in our model, so we gotta make this thing quite a bit smaller. Okay, well, this kind of works, um, with the small exception that it eventually burns off the, <laughs> the surface of the Earth and most of the planets around it. Uh, okay, so now it does orbit Earth. Uh, it still burns everything apart, but it does orbit Earth. Beautiful. Okay. I lowered the luminosity of the sun quite a bit. And, uh, it seems like we're chilling, actually, dude. Wow. Venus is kind of getting toasted, but other than that, man, we're chilling. Okay, I think we're I think we're mostly stable. I moved Venus back a little bit. It's still kind of hot. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I think we've now reached a point where even Venus is. Oh my, Venus, dude. Okay, I think I made Venus chill out. I'm not freaking out anymore. Venus, how you feeling, big dog? Feeling good? I certainly hope so. <laughs> We got something going now. I gotta add the moon still, though. So now we have the solar system 
kind of geocentric and the problem is so the, the main problem with this is that we have to change every single body to be in a one day orbital period or else none of this really works because the moon advances on the sun and that doesn't really happen in real life so let's do that have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your entire life when it's daytime here it's nighttime here and you can see the moon look at him ah ah it's beautiful i love it in conclusion uh yes yes you can make a geocentric version of the solar system in space simulator or a uh, universe simulator my apologies i've never been more proud of myself <laughs> Oh, uh, it looks as though the sun may crash into the moon at some point, but let's not think about that. Just look at the glory of the geocentric model. Ptolemy would be so proud of me right now. I think, I mean, this is obviously not like in the correct scales. Things are bigger than other things. You know, whenever you look into the sky, things are at uh, different, you know, like orbital ellipses. But I think I did about as good as I can being a complete idiot YouTuber. Thank you for making it this far in the video. I really appreciate you. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to make this, way more time than I should have. But in the end, I think I made a semi-functional geocentric model in Universe Simulator. So please, if that's worth it to you, please drop me a like or a sub. I would also appreciate some feedback to see what I did wrong and how I messed up. And also, YouTube thinks that you like this video right here in the corner, so watch that if you're not done watching my content. Anyway, see you later. Bye for now.